back to the Call of Duty Rec. We've got some Wednesday night action for you here in the week one of match. We've got New York Subpar versus the Maui Chums. Nice little gold pre-made matchup for you here. Maui Chums off to a nice little early start here. I say early start, but they got five points right now in a Rio hard point. Wolf, how are we doing today? Oh, we're doing fantastic. It's a wonderful Wednesday night here. Week one of, I believe, the Summer League here in MW3. Super excited to get this on the way. A uh, little saddening. I'm not playing this year, so all I got to do is watch and cast, but I am excited to get this match underway. Well, I can't wait to have you on the desk all season long. Should be a good time. Now we chose up to a nice little 28 point lead kicking things off nice and early here on that p1 always good to see that early time go your way but new york now starting to fight back a little bit know that p2 can be very important here they do have a player all the way in the back is going to get taken down a little cast occurred for you right off the bat there but new york still maintaining a little bit of control towards this p2 two side here as they get the spawn now each going to have to go for a break yeah, and the Maui Chums are doing a good job. They're pretty spread out here. They're trying to get those rotations here. We do see a player from New York, unfortunately, spawn out there, but the rest of New York are able to pick up those kills behind the backs of Joker and Wolf. And so Maui Chums are going to get blessed. With a little bit of a back spawn here going to be a little confusing from the side of the board, uh, but it looks like they're handling it pretty well. And we get absolutely fantastic in there, but some big kills going the way of Maui. We'll see if they can get a few more in New York. Picking up some big ones here from the front, see if they can keep picking us up, getting time as well. They do gain that lead up by just a little bit here, but. The kill's still coming in from them as they push right through the front. You got Justin trying to make a play right now. Got that rival nine in hand. Picks up one, trying to make a play right now. Picks up a second, goes for the third, but the pistol kill does not come in. Got close, got very close, but didn't get it quite there. But New York with a fantastic P2 right there. Basically pick up 30 seconds, looking absolutely phenomenal. But now gonna be rotating to this P3 once again. Nice little rotation here coming in from New York. They've had two great rotations in a row. We'll see if they can hold this time around. Yeah, Maui Chums, they got to work on that as they head later into the game. But here they are. They're already contesting this hill. We're going to see Justin here pick up two absolutely huge kills. Side of Ebok there is going to get one on the side of Box as well. That's going to be a clean break from the side of Maui. Just kind of hunting down Wolf here in the back. They know he's back here. They just got to look for him and find him here. And they should be here in a couple seconds. Once he sneaks by, what a great kill. He unfortunately is going to fall in the back. And we do see Ebok two great kills there towards the middle of the map to help out his team. As they're looking to kind of retake this hill once again here as the side of New York are able to pick up a couple kills and it's just pretty mixy here. Not a not a pretty standard P3 here with the mix, but New York do look like they're back in control. Yeah, it's like getting a little mixy, but a great break from New York there, but Maui chumps two kills. Maybe a chance to break it back with 20 seconds remaining. Ebok with another kill right there. Picks up two so far, but Wolf still laying down the laws. There's gonna be 13 seconds left on that hill. P4 about to pop up. Maui chumps gonna finally be on that rotation for the first time. We'll see if they can get some time out of it. New York subpar trying to break this open, knowing this is what's going down. But tantalizing the first one up, first one down as well as teammates gonna be falling around him as well. So Maui chumps looking good on this P4, but they've got a little bit of a pinch coming from both sides here. Looks like they're set up for it. We'll see if they can get the kill. Koa gonna pick up one, but Cryptic, he's gonna have a chance to make a play. He does get taken down. New York subpar trying to just flood in right now. Not getting too much of a group push going, but staggered spawns not helping out. Maui Chums though, doing a fantastic job here. Yeah, Maui did a great job rotating there. Exactly what they needed to do after that second and third hill, kind of failing to get some rotates here. They are able to kind of hold this here as New York have a very staggered push. They're not really pushing as a team, and Maui are taking advantage of that as they're going to take about a 20 second lead here in a couple seconds. And it looks like they just keep picking up the kills here on the side of New York. We do have Wolf here coming on 1v1, looking for the kind of the scrap time. Unfortunately, he is going to fall. And we do see Dragon over here already on P5, uh, ready to set up on that rotation as New York is going to give up all that scrap time to the side of Maui here. And then Dragon, unfortunately, is going to fall, and New York's going to kind of have control of this P5 as well. Justin, once again, trying to hit a side angle here. He's going to get taken down by Wolf. New York subpar now, once again, going to have this early setup going. We'll see if Maui can break on in. Ebok on the flank. No one knows he's here. Picks up one. His teammates from the front. That's three dead right there. New York, one player left. That's going to be tantalized. Has to try to make a play. Let's see if he can stay alive, but he gets pushed out, gets taken down. Poe going to be on five streak now. Going to be big first thing. If he can get that cruise missile, it will be very helpful. But New York subpar now, trying to take a nice, easy route in here, but it's going to be a little difficult when Maui's shooting like this. Yeah, Maui are doing a great job here. Uh, reminder, after P2, we did have New York subpar with 45 seconds here, so they've only been able to pick up 25 seconds on the past three hills here. So it's been pretty impressive for this side of Maui. And New York. Unfortunately, as I say that, they're going to get Caster Curse and get booted right out of the hill there. New York are looking to take the scrap time here. As the side of Maui are going to be set up towards this P1, kind of just start playing some cutoff angles here from the side of P5 here. As we're on board with Justin, able to pick up one. Is he able to pick up the second kill on the hill? Yes, he is. They are able to pick up a little bit of the scrap time 
three dead, kind of get us reset towards P1 here as a side of Maui Chumps are set up and ready to go. You know, this Maui Chum sub duo is very deadly. That Justin Evok, they do a great job all game long here so far, getting some monster kills, but look at that. Three more kills going the way of Maui as this P1 looking to go their way. Joker trying to make a play. Now, waiting for his teammate to pop up. Picks up one, almost gets a second, but Evok doesn't get a nice trade there for his teammate. Staying alive for now, needs a little bit of help. The assistance is going to be here. A wolf pushing on up, picks up one. They get a chance to make a play, picks up a second one as well. Looking for the third, he's going to get pushed from behind. The kill's going back and forth. Look at that checker pattern in that sideboard there. The kill feed looking great, but the side of New York do break in. They have a chance to get them a little bit of time going their way, but the P2 is the thing we're looking for. New York rotating for it, but Maui Chum still trying to hold that down as well. Toa over there doing work, picks up two on the roto, but Ebok still trying to clear out P1, knows he wants it, gets the kill. Yeah, and CK, you mentioned it right before uh, that shout out there that these sub duos from the side of Maui are doing work here, as we saw there. Uh, kind of finalizing a little bit of that hill with that sub duo here as they are starting to get that rotate here as Tantalize looking to heat up a little bit. Going to be able to pick up two towards that connector side, allow his teammates to have a little bit of room here. But we see Justin uh, just going to get spat on there by Tantalize a little bit as New York here are in control of this P2. And, you know, we've noticed a little bit on this Rio that the second set of rotations is really where the game tends to pick up and kind of blow apart. And so far, these two teams have been playing pretty even on this P1 and P2. So I'm excited to see where the rest of this game leads us. Ooh, I think Tantalize just barely died off that streak. Got five, almost got that last kill. The Draken gets the kill when it matters most. But like you were saying, the second set of rotation is very important. I mean, I'm, that's where we see everything go down, right? We see the end of the game coming in, but also these teams definitely feeling each other out. Kind of like we were talking about a little bit. We get to see which teams are going to be a little bit stronger when it comes to those rotos, comes to those setups. But I think early on, the rotations were definitely going the way of like New York. When you look at that first rotation, the first couple hills, right? But then Maui just kind of picked it up with those rotos. So we're seeing it come in from them now. They do have to break into this P3. We'll see how that goes. They've got an opportunity to make a play. Justin with a nice opener right there. New York still here. They've got plenty of numbers to work with. They've got the spawns, but the kills coming in from Maui. They pick up two right there very quickly. They flood in. They flood back out as well, getting some kills on the outside. They get the spawn grab. It looks like, ooh, New York's still spawning close. Yeah, New York's going to be kind of blessed with a little bit of a split spawn there towards the end. They are going to get those back spawns still. So it is good from the side of New York. A little team kill coming down there, but uh, too clean in the feed before that. Uh, as Evok there on the I'm just like, he is able to pick up one. Can he pick up the second? No, he can't. He can pick up Wolf, though, with the Renetti. Might as well be better than the MCW, if you ask me, even after that buff. Uh, but Maui Chunks, once again, able to get a break here on P3. Uh, that's pretty impressive from the side of Maui here. P3 is typically the money hill here on Rio. Uh, but we are able to see him pick up threes. We see Draken here, able to get behind two of them. Great two-piece there from the side of him. Tantalize kind of last alive here on the hill. Uh, unfortunately, not going to have to do anything towards that. But the side of Maui here uh, built themselves a considerable 60-point lead here as the side of New York did get that rotation towards the P4, uh, and they are picking up those kills, so they have a little bit of breathing in them as well. Got some nice kills going the way of New York right now. Not down by too much. Not, nothing to can't overcome here. Big hill coming in would be massive. But Maui challenge their push coming together, all trying to push from that street side. One kill going the way of New York. Tantalize on a four streak. Justin picks up one before going down. Just like that, New York have the numerical advantage. Very much so. This last 30 seconds looking like it could be theirs if Maui don't get a solid push here. They're probably thinking about rotating as well. The next hill is going to be a big one for them. They did a great job on it the previous, the previous rotation here. But Poe going to pick up one. Ebok with one as well. Just like that, the push coming in. New York, 20 seconds remaining. The kills going the way of Maui though. You see the streak come in invested there for the last 20 seconds. Yeah, the side of Maui there, investing there for that that little extra time there. And that may have just been a, a little bit of an info play as well, just seeing where those players are, seeing if they're on rotation. Here's we do see the players of Maui. They are set up. They pretty much know exactly where the side of Maui is coming from. Draken able to pick up one. A week on the second there, able to have the Ebok pick up that fourth uh, player down there on the side of uh, New York here. And the side of Maui here, they are pushed up and holding all of those cutoffs here as we see. Number eight there, Justin, just flying into their spawn, ready for those players here. Uh, but this side of Maui here, uh, they're looking to close it out here. They have a pretty tight setup here, and from the side of New York, they're going to need something special for this. I mean, Epoch is 28 and 16, just going ham in the spawns right now. Draken, I mean, Drake and Draken, whatever you want to call it, is just going ham on the hill as well. Epoch with a five there. Joker trying to chase him down, but good luck trying to find him right now. And good luck trying to win that gunfight. He does get it done. But Maui picking up these solid kills. They can't quite win it here, but they can get pretty close. Draken, one kill away from his streak, is going to go down. Not quite going to get that. Another person on a five who doesn't quite get the streak, but 
14 more seconds and Maui win. Looks like the P1 will get it done for them here. Because they've got the rotation and the setup ready to go. New York just running into guns right now and nothing they can do about it. Yeah, New York have just been kind of really shut down towards the end of this game from the side of Maui here. And we got five seconds till the end of this game. And you know, it doesn't even look like they're going to be able to touch it here with the side of Maui just hanging out in their spawn. And Maui chums with a pretty substantial win there on that map one Rio hard point. Really just kind of mixing through the front rotation. And, you know, kind of as, as we mentioned here, there, that second rotation, Maui chums really decided to, to put their foot on the pedal there and just really set it to that New York If subpar. New York subpar can bring it back, get a map on the board here first round kicking off yeah we're gonna see maui here starting on this offense here and we you know uh cnk i have not casted a karachi search and destroy without seeing just some ridiculous amount of a hits here on karachi which is not standard at all but uh we do see them kind of fighting here at a already bomb is going down from the side of ebok here he's stunned looking to get out of here uh but new york looking for a 3v3 retake 3v3 retake could be big. Make it a 2v2 now. Both these teams trying to fight it out, but Justin with a big kill there. Now going to be a 1v2 for Tantalize. Definitely the player you want in the situation. Pig almost gets the first kill, but does get taken down. Maui chums with a big first round. Yeah, you know, that. that's exactly what the side of Maui wanted and needed there. You know, they're coming off a heater from that Rio win, and, you know, they really need to make a statement here. And nothing better than getting an offensive win here on the side of Karachi, really mixing things up. The side of New York on this defense, you know, you mentioned their defense is what they're really going to need. And, you know, after this, you have no idea what Maui's doing. They hit an A hit right off the rip with no intel. You know, you have no idea what they're going to be doing from the rest of the side. But it's New York's time here. Uh, we've seen a lot of, you know, if, if you could do it, I could do it better type of situation here. So let's see what New York has up their sleeves. Tantalizing Coke going to make their way over towards that A-bomb site. We'll see how this one goes down. Got a couple people to fight through. Ebok going to be one of them. Not who you want to see on the map for sure. But Poe, he's got the Overwatch right now. Gets the bomb planter right there. One kill on the board. I don't know if he saw the second player. He did not. Wolf gets that kill. Bomb going down. 3v3 on the map. Poe gets another one. Looking for Boris Joker. He's going to be in this top window room. Oh, just barely gets caught out there. Now a 2v2. Bomb is down in favor of New York. Yeah, and two of the New York players, or one of the New York players in the spot on bottom red, uh, they do not know that Joker is still up here. Maybe they do with some gunfire going down, uh, but they do have Wolf's position here. They are able to spot him again, but Wolf is just able to outgun that gunfight here. And we do see kind of a fight going on here between Justin and Joker, the the two Jays here. As we head into this 1v1 here, they're going to be kind of pushing here towards this bottom red. Justin, if he can get the timing on Joker, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And there it is, side of Justin from the side of Maui, able to clutch up in in that 1v1 and Justin is 5-0 and on a five streak already here in round number two. I mean, that's not half bad. <laughs> that's not half, I mean, a f he's 5-0 and to start things out two rounds in. He's got the 1v1 on the board as well and the defuse. I mean, hey, guys, Mr. Do-It-All, what can we say about a guy like Justin? Very talented. We saw him performing very well in the first map, seeing it once again here with the AR in hand, not the sub this time around, but hey. All around two very talented teams. Maui Chums will get it done two rounds in a row. We'll see how this round three goes as Maui back on offense. Will they go back to A? Or are we looking at a little bit of a B hit this time here? We'll find out very shortly. Yeah, you know, the side of Maui here, they really can kind of do whatever. Uh, it's looking a little bit more towards that B side. Uh, kind of a standard hit here. We do see two players... You know, right as I say that, we see one player here kind of hitting this mid, getting really aggressive here on the side of Ebok. Uh, just kind of looking for some stragglers here towards this mid. There is Joker. Uh, he's not going to peek here, but we do see Cryptic able to take some shots down. Ebok able to push up towards that Delhi side, able to pick up one. And that's just a great first blood here, although Cryptic is able to respond there with the trade towards that bridge side as well. And, uh, man, just everything just keeps happening. It is like it's on talking, but Poe are able to pick up one. Joker <laughs> able to pick up Poe with that trade. We are down here with the 2v2 bomb going down on that B site here. Ebok and Draken versus Joker and Tantalize. And right as I say that, Tantalize able to pick up Ebok, turn this into a 1v2 for Draken. Draken by himself, 1v2 scenario here. He's got one player above him. That's going to be Joker. Spots him out, gets the kill. The bomb should get defused. No problem here. Is Tantalize going to grab that? Going to be a nice round on the board for the side of New York. And honestly, I mean, you were down 3-2 numbers-wise right there. The bomb was just getting down as well. I mean, fantastic. Get those kills. Get that bomb defused. A great job right there out of New York. Does a phenomenal job getting around on the board right there. Yeah, New York needed exactly that. They needed a round. This defense is the time to get it here. 
And, you know, this is a, it's still pretty early in the search and destroy, but this is a crucial round, I think, from the side of New York here. You don't want to go down 3-1. You definitely want to even it up here on an offense. Show that you can win an offense, too. Uh, Maui Chums just had a great retake their last round on this. So we'll see what New York plan to do here. Uh, if they try to just go to the standard B setup or if they try something at A here again. It's looking a little bit more towards that B setup here. And Maui Chums are sending three players towards that B side kind of ready for this hit. See how this one goes down. New York pushing on up right now. Canalize the smoke. Those two bomb gonna start going down immediately. A couple players pushing through to reinforce as well. Joker with a nice first blood. New York sub par looking fantastic as the bomb goes down. They do lose two players though in this process here. They've got the back setup going towards that top bridge. We'll see if Maui can play this 3v2 retake. Yeah, and this is going to be a tough retake here. They do have the man advantage, but those bridge power positions are pretty crazy to knock off here. They're able to pick up one. He's able to spot the second. He's able to pick up that kill on Justin. That's a great kill from the side of Wolf here. And Draken was spotted here. Uh, side of Wolf and Cryptic here should have a pretty uh, easy 2v1 here kind of on the power positions. But Draken's going to try to make some magic work. And unfortunately, he is going to fall. And that is New York tying it up 2-2 here in this Karachi search and destroy. Nice shot out of New York there, getting that one done. I mean, looking great. I love the way they just got on site very quickly. Got the smoke down, pushed two players through. One of them to get a bomb down, one to get Overwatch there. Did a great job pushing on it. Lost a couple players early, but did not matter for the boys. They got it done regardless. Yeah, as long as you get people towards that bridge side, you're really pretty clear on that B setup there. It's really hard to break a uh, bridge, especially with some ARs up there. And so the side of New York just do a good job, like you mentioned, getting that bomb down pretty early and forcing Maui Chums to kind of make a decision here. And uh, Maui Chums here, they're, uh, this is not something I've never seen before. This four person mid hit, uh, we'll see kind of where they decide to go from here. They looks like they can be split. Joker is going to get caught there. Top yellow. Ebok almost able to pick up Tantalize there in that kind of yellow alley. Uh, and Tantalize kind of just able to escape plays life a little bit. That's going to be huge. Unfortunately, Justin is going to find him. Uh, and looks like this rotation is coming over towards this A-bomb. Yeah, this A-bomb site free for now. They don't quite know that yet. They're still checking everything, making sure everything is free. Don't want to lose anyone for no reason at all. But Poa, he's going to get that bomb down. Now we've got Cryptics and Wolf in a 2v3 scenario for this New York side. We'll see if they can get it done. Draken, kind of watching this back angle. See if he can spot anyone out. But New York pushing on up. One going right for that front apartment side. We'll see if Cryptics... Has a chance to spot anyone else. Wolf going to be here with him momentarily. Maui, two players on site, one playing off. That player is going to push back up to help on out. Draken getting aggressive here. He spots out Wolf. That's going to be great info for his team. Maybe a free kill here as well. Gets a nice one there. Now, Maui, just like that, it's over. I mean, New York lose two players at the exact same time. Maui chums with a nice round there to go up 3-2. Yeah, Maui chums there just... Uh, yeah, I've never seen that that four-man mid hit and so that was a, an interesting play call from them It worked out for them. They were able to get that bomb down and uh, you know the way that they were set up New York had a pretty hard time uh, Clearing that out so you know so far Maui chums have have not really made any mistakes in the search and destroy uh, the, the rounds that New York have won they've you know they've earned those rounds Maui has not been giving them up so uh, Maui kind of continuing what they were doing map one just kind of holding control doing everything they need to uh, no mistakes being made so far in the search and destroy last time around here on this B push New York got on there very very quickly you got to think Maui's gonna be ready for it they are indeed Joker though with the first kill once again the first blood going his way he's done a great job with that so far this game but Justin pushing on up trying to get aggressive picks up one it just barely gets that kill but he's gonna push on through no one picking him up quite yet his teammate watching over the top gets one of his own just like that now gonna be a 2v2 as Joker picks up another kill on the round you know he's back here but he's gonna get a kill Justin with a nice one with the SMG now Joker by himself 1v2 scenario has to get that bomb down as well he does not have it in hand it is down over by back B. Yeah, and I'm not sur sure that the side of Maui know. They got to know. They're kind of sticking close together. So uh, Joker's going to have a pretty tough retake here with two players uh, just down bridge side. Uh, it's kind of the opposite that we saw a couple rounds ago with Maui having to retake bridge. Now Joker's going to have to retake bridge here with an AR. He's got the gun in hand for it, though. He's on a little bit of a streak. Might contest to, to save it a little bit. Uh, or he's just going to go ahead and chow AC and uh, get taken down by the side of Maui here. And, uh, you know, you mentioned it last time. New York really got that bomb down quick. It was successful for him, and they, they decided to switch it up just a little bit. And, uh, you know, it didn't seem to really work out for him here. So the side of Maui here, they do have a chance on this offense here to really make a pretty big dent here as they're currently leading 4-2. to two. 
I mean, Maui, they also sent a player right up in there right away, right? They saw the smoke fly out, and they just sent a submachine gun player up there just to go, re like, rip somebody to shreds, and he gets one kill before getting traded out. Definitely messes up the timing even more when you're already setting things off just a little bit different. But Maui, up 4-2, bringing this thing back over to good old A point here. This is their old bread and butter, it appears. But New York, they've got one player here to check this. That is going to be Joker. The first Blood King does get taken down. Wolf with a nice trade on the map, though, so it's going to be a 3v3. Justin on a five streak, though. This guy's he's on his second one of the game, isn't it? Jeez. Guy's 11 and 2. He's been on two five streaks here. That's uh, it's pretty good if any of you are math wizards out there. Uh, but we do see the side of New York here. Some interesting retakes here. Wolf, unfortunately, not able to pick up Draken there. He's going to fall. It's going to be a 2v3 here. He is gonna, Cryptic is going to get that trade. Uh, Poa is going to get that kill towards Tantalize there. Uh, and, you know, we, we're left with Cryptic here in a 1v2 situation. Unfortunately, going to fall to the side of Justin there. Uh, man, Justin has just been absolutely beaming this map so far. I believe that makes him 12 and 2. Yeah, with 2,000 damage already in the search and destroy, Justin is really making it easy for this side of Maui. And he does it with the AR hand the sub is the crazy part. But he's got the cruise missile in the back pocket now. Did get six kills there. So we'll see if that thing pops out at any point in time. But his team now going to be up 5-2. So you got to think. If there's a time to use it, let's secure the map here. Or, you know, save. let's be safe, right? We could be safe, too. But Maui Chums on the defensive side. Going to have the advantage just by being on defense. But New York subpar bringing this bomb. It looks like right up the middle of the map once again. We're going to see if they can make this play off of this. Now, New York subpar yeah. trying to make a play very aggressively towards the B side of the map through mid. But that crew's coming in. Justin going to call that in. Get a bunch of info for his team. Hopefully, he can pick something up as well. Comes on in. Gets nothing. But his teammate, Ebok, gets the first blood. He's traded out, though. Yeah, on the side of Maui are able to pick up one kill here, able to get that trade from the side of Justin there, that cruise missile, uh, not getting any kills, but picking up some great info here. So the Ooh, side of Joker yeah. and Maui uh, are going to fall. It's going to be a 1v2 here. Draken could have some good info here. So he's going to get the bomb thing off, and he's going to see Joker. He knows exactly where he's at here, 1v1. He knows exactly where Joker's at. Joker knew where he was at, but tracking with the great shots there on Joker's. He was just trying to get a stun check on that bomb, and Maui chums. Pretty convincingly here, gonna take the search and destroy on Karachi six <laughs> to two. I was a little worried there for a second of that round, but Draken just said, "Nah, I got this, no problem." Picks up both kills there. I mean that yeah, wow. things off. Maui Chum starting things out on the attacking side. Let's see if they can get some big old ticks on the board. The Joker, he's gonna get the nice first blood for his team. Gonna start things out. You know, it's just control. That one life isn't too big of a deal, but it does add up over time. Let's see what New York does about this B push. Yeah, we see the side of Maui here. Able to pick up two kills on the side of Draken and Ebok. Boa able to pick up a third. Wolf able to get a nice two-piece of his own to kind of prevent that B capture from coming in here as New Yorker looking at some more map control. Here able to pick up a great kill. Justin looking for this two-piece here. Able to finish it off with the Renetti. Ebok able to get that third. They are going to spot out Wolf here. This should be a pretty easy kill from the side of Maui here. And they are on the point, ready to go here. They are looking in that spawn. We do see Tantalize able to get spotted by Ebok here. Uh, we should see some fights coming down here. But that is the first tick already gone here as Tantalize is able to hop on point. Uh, contest just a little bit here, uh, but the side of Maui here doing a good job stacking. Uh, able to get at least that first two ticks here before we see any contests come in from the side of New York here. But New York are able to get Maui off the point here as we kind of see a little bit of a map reset. They do get the kills on the board there. Lives are pretty close, but two ticks on the board on the B side is a great start from Maui. We'll see if they can get it going again. Kind of push back up. Draken, not the guy you want to see at the top side of the map right now if you're in New York. Hasn't picked anyone up yet, but he is calling out a couple people to his teammates right now. But New York getting things pushed in pretty far. Joker with five, make it a six. Going to be a nice cruise missile pick up for him. He's popping off at the early start of this map. 25 seconds remaining. The boys over on Maui have to make a move soon. Otherwise, that time is going to keep on ticking down. But the kill's starting to go their way as they pick up two. New York now. The last two players have to hold strong. Wait for their teammates to spawn back up. Yeah, New York doing a good job so far. Uh, only allowing two ticks. Uh, kind of an unfortunate thing here. We see this third tick coming in. Uh, we do see Cryptic able to pick up that last player on the B point. Here. Five seconds left in the round here. Is Draken is able to pick up. They are able to get a little bit of a stack coming in here. Looking to get this third pick. 
or third tick, excuse me, Tower able to get up one. Wolf able to pick up one, take some shots at these other players, but it is looking like Maui Chumps are going to add a minute to that clock. Get that extra tick here. Lives are pretty close here at 8 and 10. Uh, side of New York here, you know, we do see two players from the side of Maui coming already towards this A side. We see Draken here with a great flank. Wolf is able to pick up that trade that's going to be pretty crucial from the side of New York here as they are kind of ready for this A push and this push to the top. There you go. Going to be an opener right there for Maui Chums. If they can capitalize on that at all. Justin trying to move up a little bit through that middle of the map. We'll see if he can get anything going for his team on a quick little flank. No one knows he's here at the moment, but he is running right past the player Joker, though. He calls in that cruise missile. We'll see if he picks up anything with that. Can he get some info first? He well. Hopefully they get that player in their back spawn. But Ebok going to go down just like that. The teammate of Justin going down. Justin has to make a move here quick. Four lives remaining for Maui. Six for New York. Not a ton of time on the board, but 20 seconds enough to get it done. Drake can get, get on the time. Gonna start getting things cooking for his team. 13 life points left for him, though. Only two teammates remaining as he's got a 3v4 life count right now. But Ebok with a nice kill there, looking to hold up the front. 2v3 on the map. Maui Chum's holding down the hill right now. There we go. 1v3 on the board. Dragon gonna have to make a play. And just like that, New York shut him down. I do believe they got one tick right there, though. So four total. Yeah, you know, from the side of Maui here, they were looking pretty good off the rip. They are able to get two ticks there initially on me. It really took them a while to get that third tick. Eventually, we are able to do it. Uh, but the side of New York, they're kind of right in that middle. We're looking very dominant over the side of Maui here. You know, you do let up four ticks. Uh, not the not the worst thing in the world. You can definitely get four ticks here on high rise. Uh, but, you know, that, that middle part's kind of what you want to cling to. They were looking very good had that gunny up on the side of maui here and maui were just they were able to use that excellent teamwork that we saw in the search and destroy kind of on this control here and we'll see how they do on this defensive side here but new york looking to hit this a site pretty quick the aggressive push coming through wolf with the first blood as well <clears throat> just like that new york can be on the time stack point where james is a very important thing to do two kills going their way as well maybe an opportunity to get a quick a grab the side of maui has to make a play quickly dragon the two just like that make it a third as well and poe gonna pick up the fourth one just like that all dead they do get two ticks though for their trouble so new york looking pretty solid just can't let the spawn kills come through and they do pick up that early kill as well so breaking out of the spawn is a possibility here canalize with two kills they're going towards this team maui trying to get things pushed in a little bit unsuccessful as their respawns will come in to help them defend these points but new york a chance to get pushed up again yeah new york doing a pretty good job transitioning over here to this b point they do have one player on about half through the first tick gone here's the side of maui chums aren't able really to do or aren't able to do much here we see only one player on unfortunately gonna take it off before he gets that tick just slightly epoch able to pick up another one in that mid map here maui chums are going to increase those ticks on this map and take a little bit of map control here as we do see uh, justin able to take a little bit of map presence there in their spawn poe able to pick up pick up another one their spawn kind of joker and wolf kind of left alone here towards this side and just as i say that wolf is going to get naded from e -Bot here as maui chums are looking to get that spawn trap set up unfortunately they are going to fall there from the side of new york here it's looking pretty mixy here in this high rise control we haven't seen a spawn trap set up yet uh but new york do need to hop on a point to stop that clock yeah three down for maui right there allows new york to get pushed up tantalize going to be on the b point waiting for him to push up to help him out here they're doing just that maui chums though trying to fight back trying to get some kills on the board but a couple kills going the way of new york that's three to their name right there make it all four down for maui a chance to get some solid time going towards New York. Stack the point. Word to James. We talk about it all the time. That the more you stack the point, the more it goes down. A two ticks on either objective now totally secured. So tied up at four ticks to four ticks. And New York looking good, picking up the kills. Nine lives remaining for Maui. Twelve for New York. This this full B point looking like it's gonna go their way. An immediate rotation to A would be absolutely massive. But oh, picking up two big kills there to shut down the A push. Yeah, we do see Tantalize already on this A point. Able to pick up the first kill there. Joker able to get a trade there for Cryptic towards that middle of the map here. We do see this A control probably going to come in here from the side of Maui. Aren't able to touch it at all in New York. What a great transition there towards the end of the map. They really didn't sweat. They were running out of lives, uh, but it doesn't matter when you get both of those captures there in New York. We see with a pretty quick 2-0 lead on this high-rise control as they head into this defense here. And that's exactly what they needed there. That immediate A push, able to get two ticks right away before they even... Uh, even had a team wipe there and they were immediately able to bust out of that spawn trap there what a just a great round for the side of new york there middle a little bit slow uh but the start and the end were really explosive i mean definitely put maui in a box here having to win three rounds in a row is going to be very very tough especially because two of them have to be offenses but the first one ready to get on the board ready to go here new york on the defensive side one round away from taking it on the easier side to do which is defense here 
Maui Chums, though, pushing on up on the B point already. Trying to get something going. No one dead yet from either team, but just like that, Ebok can be the first one to go. Some trades back and forth, as expected. Maui Chums, though, Poe, just has to prevent his team from getting spawn killed here. That's all. Yeah, the side of Maui just kind of doing a good job staying alive when they need to there. Uh, and you mentioned that with Poe. The first tick is going to come down towards his B side here with Justin able to pick up another kill. Unfortunately, he's going to fall to the side of Tantalize here. He's looking to get aggressive here on this B side. Able to push some shots in. Wolf able to help out a little bit. Uh, but Joker with an unfortunate teammate there is not going to help that case there. As they continue capture on B side here. Is Ebok able to pick up that last kill on that B side here? We see a capture coming in from, or a contest coming in from Cryptic here. Is Ebok able to get out, save his life for a little bit here. And this B capture is going pretty quick here from the side of Maui Chums here. It looks like he's going to secure that B and start that transition over towards A. All four players back up now. One in the deep spawn, but look at the kills coming in from Ebok. Picks up two more on a four. Oh Justin with one God. as well right there. That's three down. New York looking a little bit rough when it comes to the kills right there. Wolf gets taken down just like that. Maui going to be on the A point. The B point completely gone. Dragon on the flank as well. Does pick up one before going down. But now New York, they know there's guys everywhere on the map right now. But this A point, this A point starting to go down. Ebok trying to do what he can. Five kills to his name right now as far as streaks are concerned. One off of that cruise is going to get taken down. Look at Asperger for you. You're welcome. But one tick on this A point. Need two more. A minute and 45 to get it done. And they have the life advantage only by one. But it's something. Yeah, plenty of time to make some routes if you need to. Really just make sure you're not getting stuck in that spawn trap here. Uh, you know, but the side of New York here are ready. Guns up. Uh, there is one player blue. Maui is able to pick up two players there on the map. Uh, it's really coming up to these players in New York. Uh, I believe that's going to be Wolf and Tantalize here kind of pushed up on the map. They need to make sure Maui can't get too far. Don't set up that small trap and raise. I say that Ebox able to pick up two. Tantalize and Wolf able to kind of trade that two out. Uh, Draken here on this eight point. Unfortunately, going to fall to the side of Joker here as Poe able to pick up one here. And we do see pretty mixy here as Poe is going to kind of escape here. Uh, side of New York are really going to need to find him, but they also need to focus on those players coming off spawn. Uh, looks like they're be focused on those spawn players here as Poe able to get behind lines, able to pick up one, and the side of Maui are able to help them there. It is Joker last alive here as the side of Maui are able to get that second tick coming in right now. Uh, Tantali is going to fall off spawn. Wolf able to pick up one. Cryptic coming in here, getting ready. Joker with a great two-piece there, and we should see Cryptic here. Unfortunately, going to fall the track in here as we see Tantali uh, able to pick up that kill here as Wolf is on the point and... Uh, Looking a little yellow, yellow cardish there on that that barrel. Uh, but hey, we do hey. see the lives here from New York. Seven, two, three. It happens. You know, sometimes you're going to pop up and down. Got to do what you got to do. Ebok with a nice kill there. Two lives remaining for New York. After trying to get it done. 40 seconds remaining. Seven lives to Maui. Make it one. 1v7. One Tantalize can't get it done. And Maui chums. Get their first round on the board. Get five ticks to their name as well. So looking pretty solid there. But side of New York. Gonna hop their way back on over to offense after this. They did get it done in their first offense. So we'll see if they can do it again. By one round as well. So they would take this round. They take the map. Would be big. Still down 2-0 in the series, but hey, controls that game mode, right? You gotta win a control to win a series. So we don't have to, but you know what I mean. You gotta win at least a map. So let's get it done, yeah. boys. Definitely, definitely the swing mode here, and especially if you're down 0-2. I mean, you, you gotta win it to win the series, you know. Uh, but even if you're not down 0-2, the the control really did really swings kind of the momentum of the series here. As we oh, see yeah. New York uh, kind of going back to their bread and butter here on this A side here, and Maui are a little bit ready for it here. Not gonna get as blindsided as the first round here, but uh, New York able to pick up that first tick kind of right away. Oh, are they able to pick up that second? We do see three coming down on the map. Justin kind of last alive. It's not the propane tank, but it is a semtech able to get that kill uh able to do it with the gun as well justin's kind of just a full bag of tricks here a couple kills coming in from maui there as they wipe out that a point but new york getting a nice tick on the b point before joker goes down there maui they'll pick up the kills they need have a chance to actually get a little bit of a spawn trap going they can get some of these early kills poe picks up one but new york now slowly going to push on out of those spawns Tantalize moving up on that a side trying to just clear every corner he can because he knows anyone could literally be anywhere but Justin on the outer crane is going to pick up one, get some good damage off on himself, though, as well. Three big kills coming in from Maui with a chance to keep on the push of these spawns. And no one's moving up quite yet. Still looking for Cryptic, but now that they know where he is, you got to think they're going to make some moves on the map. But Cryptic, in a good spot to maybe help his teammates out here to push up the map. Yeah, and if you're New York, you're starting to think about ticks Ooh, here a no. little bit here. So we see Cryptic, uh, Gravity still undefeated. Uh, they're on the map of high rise. But if you're New York, you got to start thinking about the ticks here. 
you want to kind of get that defense into that round five here and you're going to need some ticks to do it you don't have a capture yet here's we see the side of maui uh kind of able to pick up three on the map here as we're left with cryptic kind of last alive but uh new york two ticks is not going to guarantee defense for you i believe you're going to need at least four or five um and, you know you're gonna have to do some work here as the side of maui are just kind of mowing you down mid map but we're gonna see some presence over here towards a wolf able to get that great entry kill as he hops on the point and able to almost pick up the one on poe unfortunately nade get to come down as well uh, the side of maui are looking pretty strong here poe is making some moves on the map as he picks up two making a third out of five streak now that's a play out of him getting these spawns locked down looking for another he's got the cruise missile secured going into the next round and this one should be over new york nowhere close enough to an objective and just like that, the guys from Maui Chums tie it up 2-2 two to two on the map. Start down 0-2, get things tied back up. Now, New York should be on the offensive side here as well. Yeah, you know, you don't need, uh, you don't need to win two offenses if you win your offense and your defense Fast. like that. Fast. And, uh, man, the, the side of Maui here really have turned it around in the second side of the map here. As, you know, I believe they do have defense here. Uh, should be... You know kind of easy but you know high rise is one of those you know one of those maps here that the defense is a little bit that preferred side but when we see these round fives it, it's very interesting to see kind of what people pull out for this attacking side you know uh sometimes we see some teams just really uh have a pretty offensive heavy round five here so it'll be interesting to see what new york kind of pull out here we're not seeing this classic four stack on a from them they're doing a little bit split looking to kind of hit that b side a little bit more guaranteed point yeah, it looked like maybe they were playing a little slower for a pick as well. They do get just that, but Draken going to answer back with one of his own. But Ebok going to push on up. That's three kills with the side of Maui. you got to be very careful if you New York subpar right here. Things could get pretty wild pretty quick, but the kill's still coming in from Maui. As New York down five live. Well, down four. Five total lives on the round already. And just like that, though. Trying to push back out of the spawn, but Draken's here. He's going to get some early damage off, just forcing him into the back. Getting rid of some time off. He's just stalling as much as he can while his teammates try to make some moves. Dragon doing a good job there. You know, you mentioned just wasting time uh, here. Is that that clock is ticking? No one's touching the point there. And you know, the side the side of New York really have just been shut down. This side, the side of Maui, are just uh, guns are blazing here. As New York are able to pick up two, as they kind of get a little bit of rotation out of their spawn, not spawn trapped anymore. Uh, but they do only have 25 seconds here on the clock to make a move. We do see two more kills coming down here as the side of New York are able to step up on that B point. Unfortunately, going to fall to Ebok with a great two-piece uh, as he is unfortunately going to fall here. But the side of Maui are looking pretty dominant here with their guns. Uh, but New York, you really got to get it on point and you got to do this quick here. You're only going to have 22 seconds left. You really got to, can't afford anything. We do hear a cruise missile coming in from Ebok here on this B point. This is going to be a pretty dangerous cruise missile as we do see Cryptic kind of jump off. Ebok, unfortunately, going to get a team kill there, but he's going to provide a lot of information to his team. I mean, the kill's still coming in from his teammates, so just like that, but Joker, he is on this B point. Going to keep it moving for his team. They need this time back very bad. An extra minute would help them out quite a lot. But Maui still does have one cruise missile in the back pocket, though. Ready to use that whenever they need it. But some big kills coming in from Wolf right there. If you can get on the B point, maybe. There's one player here, two contesting his teammates pushing towards the A side. Joker and Cryptic trying to get there as fast as they can. Joker going to be up. He's going to get a nice kill there on the board as well. Now, this A, sorry, this B point now going to start getting kicked down as well. The kill's going the way of Maui still as they pick up two more right there. Joker has to stay alive. Oh, little, another yellow card on the, on the barrels there. They love the barrels. The Wolf picking up two big kills there. New York subpar doing a good job getting the kills they need. Down by three. Need to get this tick going. Another A tick, and they get an extra minute of time. But Justin fighting back, getting a nice kill on the board. But the flank comes in from Ebok. Joker has to stay alive. Doing a little bit of ring around the rose. He gets taken out. Double team kill oh, coming no. out of the cruise missile. Tantalized, though, is going to hop on that B point, getting that time tick up for his team. His teammates hop on the A point. They've got that one moving. They've got a chance to make a miracle play. Now he chums up by three lives. Make it four. New York. Everyone on their last life. Wolf on the time. The A point secured. Have to rotate to B. Now going to be three left. Maui Chums trying to get the last three down. Yeah, on the side of Maui Chums, they have no idea where these New York players are. They've done a great job at playing their lives here. This is a great time from the side. This is going to be a 2v6 now here as one of the players is going to have their location known. We did see shots coming down from Cryptic as well. They should know where both players were oh, a couple no. seconds ago. Both those players have repositioned to a massive position. This is a huge flank coming in from the side of Cryptic here. Joker able to pick up uh, one player there, able to know where that second is. Unfortunate stun timing, yeah. almost able to pick up that kill on Joker. It's going to be last. 
left with Cryptic here, and Maui are going to complete that reverse sweep here on the high-rise control, going down 0-2 and eventually winning 3-2, making that a quick 3-0 in the game. I mean, New York put in a heck of a match, though. They got very, very close to taking that one towards the end there, but unfortunately it is...